morning brothers and sisters. Just doing the Sabbath video for you guys today. Um, before I start, as always, we must give glory, honor, and praise to the Most High in Heaven. Glory, honor, and praise to His Son Yeshua. Amen. I took the kids down to the Twelve Apostles a couple of months ago. Uh, I thought I'd post up some photos of that to show the glory and the wonder and uh, the Most High's creation. Okay, um, we seem to glorify creation, but we have forgotten about the Creator. Okay, if I could read to you guys the book of Revelation 14, 7 and 1. This is the duty of man. Saying with a loud voice, Fear God, give glory to Him, for the hour of His judgment has come, and worship Him that made heaven and earth, and the sea, and the fountains of waters. Okay. Now the next verse I'd like to read to you guys is First Peter uh, 7, 2 and 17. Reading from the book of First Peter 2 and 17. And it reads, Honor all men, love the brother, brotherhood, fear God, honor the king. Okay? Now, the next verse I'd like to read to you guys is First John 5 and 3. Reading from the book of First John 5 and 3, and it reads, For this is the love of God, that we keep His commandments, and His commandments are not grievous. Okay. So how do we love the Most High? We keep His commandments. Okay? Now a lot of us have forgotten about the Most okay. High. Um, Today's lesson is part two on uh, the videos I've done uh, on the churches of Asia Minor. Uh, this is the second video. Okay. Um, uh, John was the first bishop at Ephesus. He was imprisoned on the island of Patmos. 50 miles off the coast of Turkey. Uh, the last revelation of Jesus Christ. This book Christ tells John to write down the end times events. Uh, the first letter was written to the church of Ephesus. Artemis, uh, people came from all over uh, the world to worship Artemis. She was the goddess over Ephesus. Um, it was like the modern day New York or London. Paul taught the gospel for, uh, there for two and a half years. Uh, Christ, wrote the, Christ wrote the first letter to the church of Ephesus. It was a thriving Christian town, if I could read to you guys. Revelation 2, 1 and 7. Uh, reading from the book of Revelation 2, 1 to 7. Unto the, unto the angel of the church of Ephesus write these things, saith that holdeth the seven stars in his right hand, who walketh in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks. I know thy works, and thy labor, and their patience, and how they 
canst not bear which are evil, and thou hast tried them which say they are apostles and are not, and thou hast found them liars, and hast borne and hast patience, and for my name's sake hast laboured and hast not fainted. Nevertheless, I have something against thee, which thou hast left thy first love. Remember, therefore, from whence thou art fallen, and repent, and do the first works, or else I come unto thee quickly, and remove the candlestick out of the place, except thou repent. For this, this thou hast, that, that thou hatest the deeds of the Nicolaitans, which I also hate. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches, to him that overcome, I will give to eat of the tree of life, and it is in the midst of the paradise of God. Okay. That was the church, that was a letter written to the church of Ephesus. Uh, the Agora was the main trade market in Ephesus. It was a multicultural city. Uh, at the entrance to the Agora, you had to burn incense. Uh, you had to burn incense to Caesar. Uh, Christians wouldn't do that, so they were cut out of the Agora. Okay, Artemis was the main goddess in Ephesus. There were 14 temples in Ephesus. Artemis was the fertility goddess, the main goddess of Ephesus in 1000 BC. Men would castrate themselves uh, in offering to Artemis. Uh, uh, the pagan priests would go into trances and uh, castrate themselves to become pagan priests for uh, the goddess Artemis. Okay. Uh, the Roman emperors claimed to be God. Everyone had to worship Caesar as God. Domitian required every Christian to worship him as God. That led to thousands of Christians being killed, martyred. Uh, Christ says uh, he hates the Nicolaitans. Um, Jesus liked Paul, Paul's teachings. Uh, he taught there in, in the uh, in the town square from 11 to 4 every day for two and a half years, teaching about Christ and the Most High. He was kicked out of the synagogues, so he taught in the town centres. The problem that Jesus had with them was they did their first, they didn't do their first works. To them, it was a labour of love. It was a it was a job. It was a labour. Christ is telling them to come back to me and start to love me again. Uh, stay faithful and I will give you to eat of the tree of life. Okay. Now the reason why Christ said that, see what happens is Christ he always uses uh, the everyday life uh, and compares it to them spiritually. Yeah. So uh, the pagans had a tree at Ephesus. Um, it would heal all the pagans. Um, the Christians wouldn't touch it. So uh, that's why Christ says, keep faithful and I will give you the tree of life. You know, his tree, tree is better than the pagan tree. Uh, the e Ephesus had a temple to Domitian, who along with Nero was the biggest killer of Christians. His reign started in 81 AD to 96 AD. He was uh, he was to be worshipped as God. He had the highest peak. He, he had a, there was a statue of him at the highest peak of Ephesus. It was a 50 foot statue uh, uh, on top of the mountain. Every year, everyone had to pledge allegiance to Domitian. Christians uh, were murdered for refusing to do so. 
Um, most Caesars didn't really enforce these laws, but Domitian did. In 262 AD, the temple was destroyed. Uh, this is all that's left of the Temple of Artemis. I'll post up a photo of that. Okay, the next... Uh, the city I would like to look into is Smyrna. Alexand Alexander built Smyrna. Um, he gave it the title of a re resurrected city. Um, but uh, Christ, Christ uh, taking the title of Christ. Okay, so Christ is aware of that. Uh, Smyrna was famous for myrrh. Um, they were the only ones that could grow it. Myrrh was an ingredient of embalming people. Christ said, I know thy tribulation and thy and their poverty, but thou art rich. I'll read that verse to you guys, the book of Revelation 2 and 9. Reading from the book of Revelation 2 and 9, and it reads, I know thy works and tribulations and poverty, but thou art rich, and I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews, but are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Uh, money doesn't make you rich. Uh, you can't take your money with you. Uh, all the people of Smyrna, uh, they weren't uh, financially rich, but they were rich in spirit. They had Christ, therefore they had eternal life. Um, Jesus calls the Jews the synagogue of Satan here. The Jews uh, were working with the Romans. The Hebrews were working with the Romans here. Um, they had a deal with the Romans. The, the Jews didn't have to pledge allegiance to Caesar each year uh, because they were uh, leading the Hebrews up the wrong path. Uh, they were persecuting Christians. They kicked all the Christians out of their out of their temples. Um, they were teaching that uh, they should, that everyone should still keep the law of Moses. Um, so they were leading the Hebrews up the wrong path, just like the pagan, the Roman Caesars. Uh, the pagan priests were leading the, the Romans up the wrong path, so they kind of they they were working together. Uh, uh, they were working for the uh, for the same team. So the Caesars uh, allowed the Hebrews not to pledge allegiance to Domitian, okay, but the Christians are. Uh, Christians were not saved that privilege. They had to pledge allegiance to the mission and uh, because they didn't do so, they were all martyred for Jesus Christ. There was a, um, there was a great Christian named Polycarp. He was murdered by the Romans. Um, he did not bow down to Caesar or to Domitian. Uh, there's a story about Polycarp uh, that goes when the Roman Caesars went to uh, to seize him, and uh, he, they they um, they told uh, him that all he had to do was bow down to Caesar, and uh, and they wouldn't kill him. He said, "Look, I've been a Christian for 86 years." I'm not about to stop now. So what happened was Polycarp cooked a dinner for the soldiers. He said, please allow me to pray to my God for one hour. And then he did so. And then he wouldn't bend down to, to Caesar. So the, the Roman soldiers had to murder him. Okay.
Now the next church I'd like to talk to you guys about is Sardis. It was a Persian city. It used to be called Lydia. Sardis had the biggest synagogue outside of Palestine. Lydia was conquered by Alexander the Great. They compared their religion, they, sorry, they compromised their religion to get along with the pagans. Okay, uh, if I can read another Bible verse to you guys, uh, John 14 and 6, and it reads, reading from the book of John 14 and 6, and it reads, Jesus said unto them, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by me. What was happening here, uh, this church was compromising uh, to get along with the pagans. Um, their church was next, the synagogue was next to a Roman gym. The Romans worshipped the naked, naked body. There were also bathhouses around the synagogue. Um, so um, the, the Christians and the Hebrews would have known what, what was going on in these bathhouses and in these uh, gyms, you know, uh, there was also um, Roman eagles inside the synagogue. There were statues of Roman animals inside the synagogue. Just showing that they compromised. Christ's religion to get along with the Romans. Okay, that's a big no-no. If I can read to you guys from the book of Revelation 3 and 3. <clears throat> read from the book of Revelation chapter 3 verse 3 and it reads, Remember thou hast thou hast received and heard and, and hold fast and repent if therefore thou have not what not watched I will come as a thief and and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee okay so that was Christ's message to Cyrus <coughs> Now the last church I'd like to look into you guys, for you guys, is uh, the church at Laodicea. Okay, uh, Laodicea had everything except clean water. They were rich, they were wealthy, they had no need for Christ. Uh, they, they, uh, the only thing they didn't have was clean water. So Christ uh, relates uh, their spirituality to what was happening in their lives. Okay, so um, if I could read to you guys the Book of Revelation three, uh, three and twenty. Oh, sorry. First, I'll read to you guys uh, what uh, the Bible says about the church at Laodicea. <clears throat> and upon the angel, sorry, reading from the book of uh, Revelation 3, verse 14, the church at Laodicea, and upon the angel of the church of Laodicea write all these things which saith the Amen, the faithful and true witness, the beginning of creation of God. I know thy works, thou art neither cold nor hot, for I will, for I, I would thou work cold or hot, so then because thou art lukewarm, and neither cold or hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth, because thou sayest, I am rich, and increased with goodness, and have need nothing, and I knoweth not that thou art 
wretched and, and miserable and poor and blind and naked, I counsel thee to buy from to, to buy of me gold tried in the fire, and thou mayest be rich and white raiment, and thou mayest be clothed, and that the shame of the nakedness of the appear, of the appeared and anointed thine eyes with eye slaves that thou mayest see as may as I as many as I love I rebuke and and chastise be zealous therefore and repent behold I stand at the door and I knock if anyone hear the voice I will open the door I will come into him and he will sup with me and I will, and and he sorry I I will sup with him and he with me to him that overcome I will I will grant to sit with me in my throne even as I also became and I am set down with my father in his throne and he that has an ear let him hear and he has sorry let him hear what the spirit says unto the churches So they, uh, these guys were loving the, um, they were loving the, uh, the gift, not the giver. Yeah, so they had no need for Christ. They had everything. Uh, their water was bitter. So Christ likens them to their water supply. Okay. Okay. Uh, I hope I've been able to show you guys uh, through the uh, uh, ancient cities of uh, Asia Minor and. Uh, the photos I've posted up of these ancient cities, the, the ruins still exist. I hope I've been able to show you guys that Christ is real. Okay, uh, if you guys are looking for a non-biblical source, there is Josephus, writes about Christ. Herodotus, ancient historian. Okay, uh, in today's day and age, ignorance is a choice. Okay, um, just in that last passage I read to you guys, the verse that stood out the most was Re Revelation 3 and 20, where Christ says, I knock. So Christ is all-conquering, all-powerful, all-creating, Son of the Most High. He's going to knock. If you open the door, eternal life. If you don't open the door... Okay, so if you guys haven't repented before you die or before Christ cracks open that sky, that sky it will be too late. Okay, uh, I hope this lesson has helped you guys today. Um, uh, before I finish, as always, I would just like to say glory, honor and praise to the Most High in Heaven. Glory, honor, and praise to His Son, Yeshua. Praise the Most High. Amen.